They want mail. Today, we give them mail. It's July 5th, and we have just had a holiday weekend, and today we're going to be going through what a typical mail day looks like for me. So you could basically say this is like a Monday, we're coming back from a holiday. This is the approximate volume that I get, say, on a Monday. Um, but want to go through all these cards. Let's get into it. Okay, so without any further ado, we're going to go through all these in no particular order. So first up, Victor Wimbinyama, Base My House, nothing special about that. Uh, in fact, there's going to be a lot of cards in here that there's really not a lot special about. Uh, this may be as good as it gets right here in terms of most expensive stuff. Again, I'm just giving you an average mail day for whatever reason. I'm just feeling really, you know, just want to give back a little bit to the community. You know, I haven't done these mail days in a while. This is fresh. This is not delayed content. These are fresh buys. So kind of gives a little bit of a sneak peek on some of the things that I've been buying lately. And um, yeah, that's just kind of how it is so we're going to go through all these guys kobe silver finest we've got the kobe and the mj same set same set that card looks better though just has a better shine to it the silver on the mj is just a little bit more dull we got some shohei it's always a great time to buy shohei always a great time to buy shohei otani never a bad time uh we got on fuego Victor Wimbenyama, he is in fact in Fuego. Even if his prices go down, he's still in Fuego. <laughs> CJ Stroud, my house, silver. Stroud boy is probably going to start getting a little bit of hype here soon, I would think. Is that pink? It is pink. Indeed, it is pink. Uh, white hot rookies, Victor Wimbenyama. There's a red hot and a white hot. This one is white hot and it is a hollow version. So, um, all these cards are going to be packaged up here fairly shortly, either today, tomorrow, maybe Monday, maybe Tuesday. I don't know. Got a lot of stuff coming in the mail. This is a typical mail day. So, I've got cards for the past week and a half, two weeks that have to get prepped. Um, and it, this is just kind of what it looks like. My, my daily dilemma is, do I send off orders... Or wait for more cards to come because I want to include them in the order and it just ends up being one big massive order because my, my buying right now is just it is in a, at a frenzy level I'm buying like crazy crazy got another one of these uh, brand new upper deck extended young guns canvas uh, Connor Bedard so I got two of those in the mail we got select certified Victor Wimbenyama and that is a silver select certified Gosh, dude, I got a ton of those. ton of those. Mezzanine Victor Wimbenyama. This is not the rarest courtside, but it's the second rarest. So you got Concourse, Premier, Mezzanine, and then Courtside. Courtside's card number 288. This is card number 311. Usually the cards that have the smaller number, meaning like Concourse is card number 87, Premier is number 121. Typically it's as you ascend up the checklist, checklist you have increasing rarity i don't know why they screwed the pooch on this and made the mezzanine 311 it's not more rare than the court side and it never i mean i think it's a new tier they'll have a fifth tier next year i mean they're going to keep adding crap until fan tops takes over old reuben boy i'm sure reuben might do the same thing with tops chrome and bowman chrome that idiot uh next we got baby baby ruth and more show hey beautiful and that's that's regular uh, here's the premiere that I was talking about. This is this is very light compared to what I've been buying. This is a very light day, and in a way, I'm kind of happy about that because it, you know these are just 
low-end cards, nothing special. Nothing great about this. Just run-of-the-mill mail day fillers. <laughs> purple, pink. No, not purple. That is pink. 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 CJ Stroud. This one is probably going to be a nine. A little, little off-center left to right. Uh, does that mean that I'm still going to grade it? Of course. <laughs> of course. Thunder, Victor Wimbenyama. This is, I can never tell if these, what color these are. If they're green, if they're hollow, if they're red. Because I'm red-green colorblind. And then, that doesn't help. <laughs> doesn't help at all. I can still tell the difference in red and green. But the, the tests say that I'm red-green colorblind. Uh, optic, Victor Wimbenyama base. Like this. Perfect, perfect example. I know that's red. I know that's green. But, you know, whenever they blend together and the colors are kind of close, you know, they kind of look similar. So, I don't know. Next we got, this is a cool one, but it does have a flaw. This is Victor Wimbenyama Liftoff Galactic. So I did get a Galactic Wimby. That's kind of cool. Uh, it does have a flaw that was disclosed. I wonder if it's got more flaws. No, it's just on the card. Um, I think it's got scratch right there. And that was, noted, that was noted in the listing. I got it. It was the cheapest Galactic that is sold for Victor. So, yeah, got it. Got an issue. I don't care. People will like Galactics. Splash. Splash, Splash Hollow, Victor, buying a lot of Victors, man, off season, off season, baby, great time to buy basketball, out of sight, out of mind, everybody's talking about everybody else in the, in the news, Victor's not in the news, you know, just great time, uh, Paul Skeens, old Paul boy, he has been in the news, because he is ascending, he is en fuego, as they say. They need to make an Enfuego card of him because Skeens is Enfuego. He, and he's playing Enfuego. Great. He's playing fantastic. Uh, not enough has been said about Paul Skeens. I mean, he was not as hyped as Steven Strasburg. I remember Strasburg. I mean, a lot of money on Strasburg in 2008-ish, 2008-2009. Then whenever he got called up in 2010, I mean, he already had all his USA cards. He had an Ultimate Collection USA autograph rookie. I mean, mind-blowing. Um, back then, that card never really took off like I expected it to because I thought that there would be some transition over from Bowman Chrome into the high-end upper deck space in baseball. Never happened. But everything was in fuego. Paul Skeens is not getting that hype, and I guess it's because we've had this lull period with pitchers. Um, pitchers got a lot of hype before. Now people just seem to not really care too much about him. I think that's an opportunity. Um, but he's one of the few who have really delivered on hype. For sure, for sure. I'm not scared to buy pitchers. Um, she always a pitcher. She always a hitter also. Victor, that's a, that one's got great centering too. Very, very good centering. Uh, more splash. Splash, splash. How about the splash bros getting split up? Ooh, oh Clay going to Dallas. Join, creating his own splash bro team. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to think about that. Um, I would have liked to have seen Splash Bros remain together all through, all through their career like Jordan Pippen. I'm, it seems like a sad end to an iconic era, in my opinion. Victor! That's another Splash. And I think we're going to start getting into some cheapies because I can tell the last remaining stack it was all PWE. Other than, I think this one was, I mean, this is still kind of cheap. Panini Contenders Rookie of the Year insert. This is the first one of these that I have gotten. And I've got a couple incoming. This is the first one I've got in hand. And these are going to be difficult to grade because of those corners on the back. But contenders, first time that has... Uh, I've got one of those. Uh, splash. Splash. <laughs> uh, Victor. Not Victor. Um, Shohei Otani and Yamamoto. Yamamoto. He is hurt, but he's actually had a really good year too. Got blown up in his first outing, but he's played really, really well. And, again, people were kind of shying away from pitchers. Like, Paul Skeens has had a fantastic start. Yamamoto's had a great start, too. Not as good as Paul Skeens, but it's crazy. The Japanese – seems like there's been so many Japanese players come over other than Otani who are specifically pitchers, and they never live up to the hype. Um, Hugh Darvish, very hot, 2012. Didn't pan out. Um, Tanaka with the Yankees. Chen Ming Wong, like none, none of these guys really made a big lasting impact. So it seems like whenever people come over, they're a little skeptical at first. There's that big rush, but um, I mean, I think Yamamoto's having a great year. I mean, he just kind of got hurt, and yeah, <laughs> that's why people are avoiding the pitchers, I guess. 
That's why they avoid Skeens until Skeens dominates the highlights and, um, you know, his girlfriend's a Yuri model. So, uh, Optic. Uh, Viori, not Yuri. Uh, Viori. I'm, I'm actually wearing Viori pants right now and wearing a Viori shirt. So, they got me. <laughs> Victor. This is just regular Thunderlane. Optic. I don't know why I'm doing all this one-handed. Maybe I'm trying to improve my basketball skills with my left hand. Optic, it's a base. And then we've got a, another Thunder Lane. So this is the typical mail day that I would get like on a Monday. So how many cards do we got? It's 37, 38, 39, 39 it, cards. This is basically almost like a little mini PSA, PSA order if I wanted to, to do that. So I would usually try to wait. I'm really... I mean, in May, I was sending off an order or a box to PSA, not an order, but a box to PSA with multiple orders once a week. It was getting nuts. June, uh, slow down because I finished my Euro trip uh, end of May, early June. That kind of knocked me off cycle, but I got four orders off in late June, um, so shipped them all in one box. Now I've got a ton of stuff to send off in July. So I'm kind of waiting till I get a bunch of these outstanding orders in and I'm gonna break them up in probably four or five orders. I've got one still from the $15 special I haven't sent off yet, so I'm just gonna wait till I get all this stuff. Only got about another week or two to get that one off. So um, then the last thing that I bought, Upper Deck Rare Air, I've been buying a lot of these sets and just kind of cracking them open, grading some of the cards that are in that. So um, this is typical mail day, again give them back to the people they wanted the mail day i gave them the mail day so that's kind of what i'm buying right now and just a, a sliver of, of what it is out there i'm looking for let me know what you all think and we'll see you next time